Energy Simple Machine Introduction When we pull a bucket full of water from a well, we find it difficult to pull. But if we use a pulley to lift the bucket, it becomes easy to lift the bucket from the well. Likewise, while taking a heavy load from the road to a building, we find it easy to push a heavy load like gas cylinder on the ramp inclined plane. These are the examples of simple machines. Machine Machine is a device which overcomes a large hindrance, resistance, by applying the force in a convenient direction. Like in case of pulley, the effort is along the direction of force of gravity. It helps us to do the work easily. Nowadays, we cannot think of our existence without machines. Simple Machines A machine is a device that makes work easier and faster. 1. Machine helps us to increase the efficiency to work. For example, if we have to open the lid of a sugar tin, we may do it with bare hands. If we take a small spoon and insert it between the lid and the edge of the tin, it will open easily. 2. Similarly, a man has to apply a great force to lift a box to put it into the truck, but he can push the same box up using an inclined plane very easily. The amount of work done in both the cases is the same, but the inclined plane allows the man to apply less force. Hence, the inclined plane works as a simple machine. 3. Machine helps in carrying out unsafe and dangerous tasks. Example, pair of tongs can be used to lift a piece of burning coal from fire. General Terms of a Simple Machine The following terms are frequently used in the study of a simple machine. 1. Effort It is the force applied to the machine to do mechanical work. 2. Load Load is the force that a machine exerts on a given body to be moved. 3. Fulcrum it is a fixed point about which the machine can turn while doing work. 4. Mechanical advantage It is measured as the ratio of the load to the effort. Mechanical advantage is equal to load divided by effort. Here, mechanical advantage tells us the advantage gained by the using machine to transmit force. 5. Input It is the work done on the machine, that is, the energy supplied to the machine. 6. Output It is the useful work done by the machine, that is, the energy imparted by the machine. 7. Efficiency of a machine No machine is an ideal machine. Some parts of the input is lost to overcome the friction or for moving the parts of the machine. The ratio of the work done by the machine, work output, to the work done on the machine Work input is called the efficiency of the machine. Efficiency is equal to work output divided by work input. Mechanical advantage Machines are used for the following purposes. 1. To overcome a heavy load by applying a small effort. For example, a jack is used to lift a car. 2. To transfer the effort at a convenient point. For example, in a bicycle, effort is applied on the pedal and that is transferred to the wheel. 3. To apply the force in a desired direction. For example, in a single fixed pulley, effort is applied in the downward direction. 4. To gain in speed. For example, instead of walking, if we use a bicycle, it will take less time to reach a place. Types of Simple Machines There are different types of simple machines. 1. Lever 2. Wheel and Axle 3. Pulley 4. Inclined Plane 5. Screw 6. Wedge Do you know? Simple machines are the devices that make it easier to do work against a force. Lever Lever is a simple machine. It is a long bar which moves around a fixed point. The fixed point is called fulcrum. The object which is to be moved or lifted is called 
load or resistance. The force applied is called effort and the distance of the fulcrum from the point at which load acts is called its load arm. Similarly, the distance of the fulcrum from the point at which the effort acts is called the effort arm. A lever is a straight or bent bar capable of rotating in any direction about a fixed point or axis. Wheel and Axle Wheel and axle necessarily consists of a rod, axle and a wheel joined together such that if one is made to rotate, the other also rotates. The wheel has larger diameter while the axle has smaller diameter. The effort is applied on the broader wheel and the load is with the axle. Such an arrangement needs less effort to move an object. Examples of wheel and axle are the steering wheel of a car, screwdriver, drill, etc. A wheel with a cylindrical rod passing through its center is called wheel and axle. Pulley A pulley is a simple machine which lifts heavy load with less application of effort. It is a flat circular disc having groove on its edge and capable of rotating around its central axis called axle. A pulley is used to lift heavy objects. The pulley is hooked onto a support at a certain height above the object and a rope is passed over the pulley along the groove. The groove prevents the rope from slipping off the disc. The load is placed over one end of the rope whereas the effort is applied on the other end. A pulley is a wooden or metallic disc with a grooved rim capable of rotating about an axis passing through its center. Single Fixed Pulley The simplest form of pulley is called the Single Fixed Pulley. In this pulley, axle is fixed to a rigid support called a block. A rope passes through the groove in the rim of the pulley. One end of the rope is attached to the load and other end to the effort. This type of pulley is used in drawing water from a well. The main advantage of the pulley is that it allows us to apply force in convenient downward direction. When we apply force downwards, we make use of our own weight in order to apply effort. Thus, it becomes easier to pull the load. If the axis of rotation of a pulley does not move, it is called a single fixed pulley. Single movable pulley Single movable pulley is a pulley which has a free axle to move in space. A string passes through the groove in the rim of the pulley. One end of the string is tied to the hook and the effort is applied to the other end of the string. The load is attached to the pulley. A single movable pulley has a mechanical advantage of two. It is because each part of the rope supports half of the load. If the axis of the rotation of a pulley is not fixed, it is called single movable pulley. Inclined plane An inclined plane is a sloping surface used to lift a heavy object with a small effort. You must have observed loading of heavy objects on a truck by a ramp using a wooden plank inclined at certain angle. The wooden plank actually acts as an inclined plane. An inclined plane is used as a force multiplier. This means that it can be used to lift heavy load with less effort. A road going uphill, ramps in hospital and malls are the examples of an inclined plane. An inclined plane makes the loading of heavy objects quite easy. Mechanical advantage of an inclined plane. For the work input, we look at the slope of the ramp and for the work output, we look at the height of the ramp. Therefore, WI is equal to WO. FES is equal to FIH gives rise to FI upon FE is equal to S upon H. Where S is equal to slope, H is equal to height. Mechanical advantage is equal to FI upon FE is equal to slope upon height. Screw A screw is another application of inclined plane. A screw is an inclined plane wound around a rod. 
A screw looks like a nail with grooves cut around. The tip of a screw is narrow and pointed and as we move away from the tip, the thickness of the screw increases till we reach the head of the screw which is flat. The head has a narrow slit in it which is used to turn the screw. The grooves on the screw are like inclined planes. As the screw is rotated into a piece of wood, it travels a greater distance than a nail would travel. Thus a screw, like an inclined plane, is a force multiplier. Wedge A wedge is also an example of an inclined plane. It is a portable inclined plane. A wedge is a simple machine that has two or more inclined surfaces joined together to form a sharp or pointed edge. The wedge of a knife and razor blade is made up of two inclined planes put together. Wedges work on the principle of reducing the surface area so that a minimum force is required to produce the maximum pressure. Wedges are generally used to split or pierce materials. Knife, axe, iron nail, pin and sewing needle are the examples of wedge. Different orders of levers There are three different types of levers depending upon the relative positions of fulcrum F, load L and effort E. 1. Class 1 lever 2. Class 2 lever 3. Class 3 lever Class 1 lever In this class of lever, the fulcrum F lies between the load L and the effort E. Examples A beam balance A seesaw A pair of scissors and pliers are the common examples of class 1 lever. Class 2 lever In this class of lever, the load L lies between the fulcrum F and the effort E. Examples A nutcracker A bottle opener and a wheelbarrow are the examples of class 2 lever. Class 3 lever In this class of lever, the effort E lies between the fulcrum F and the load L. Examples Kitchen tongs forceps, sugar tongs and human forearm fishing rod etc. are the examples of class 3 lever. Note, in third class of levers, we do not gain in terms of effort, but these levers are used to do the work faster or to do the work in a convenient direction. Activity Suppose you have to shift a heavy stone from its position. If you simply do it by pushing, that is by applying a force, you will observe that stone cannot be shifted easily. Take a long wooden bar and put a small brick in between the stone and yourself and apply a force as indicated in the figure. You will observe that stone can be easily shifted. From this activity, we can conclude that the long wooden bar starts acting like a machine which makes the work easier and with the application of less effort, the stone can be shifted. Numerical based on mechanical advantage or leverage. The principle of lever states that load into load arm is equal to effort into effort arm. We know that mechanical advantage is the ratio of load to the effort. Mechanical advantage MA is equal to load L divided by effort E. We also observe that mechanical advantage MA is equal to L upon E is equal to effort arm divided by load arm. Thus, greater the length of effort arm as compared to load arm, more will be the MA. That is, less effort will be required to overcome the load. Alternate method. We can find the mechanical advantage for a lever by looking at the work the lever does. The work the user inputs on the lever is equal to the work outputted by the lever. That is, work I is equal to work O, since work is equal to force into distance. Therefore, FEDE -E is equal to FIDI. FI upon FE is equal to DE upon D1. Since mechanical advantage is equal to load force divided by effort force.
therefore from 1 mechanical advantage is equal to de upon di in terms of distance alone solved example Tarun uses a force of 85 kilograms weight at a distance of 500 centimeters from the fulcrum of a crowbar to lift the log of wood placed 50 centimeters away from the fulcrum what is the weight of the log and what is its mechanical advantage fact the wheel and axle was first used around 3000 BCE maintenance of a machine we use a variety of machines which makes our work easier if a machine is used for a long time there is wear and tear in it due to friction for this reason it requires maintenance the following steps should be taken for proper care of machines. 1. To avoid wear and tear and unwanted sound in a machine, proper lubricants like grease, oil, etc. should be used periodically. 2. To avoid rusting, the parts of the machine should be painted. 3. To protect it from dust and moisture, the machine should be properly covered when it is not used. 4. A machine should be regularly cleaned and checked up for any deficiency.